Pat's Two Cents. My best friend Pat asked me to share this with her two friends, Deshaun and his sister, Ariana. And this is for all of you who have had those deep, dark questions that just can't seem to be answered, or you've always been haunted by an itch in the bottom of your soul that no one could scratch. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me, now say, am I? Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Love lifted me when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Everyone out there who needs to know why Jesus is the way. Now, this is not going to be a religious approach. This is going to be a practical approach. So, Deshaun and Ariana, I hope this blesses your heart. And all of you who have been asking questions down through the years, I am going to tell you from personal experience, I'm not a scholar, so I will not debate the issue. But I will tell you from a personal eyewitness account, you're looking at a picture, because I'm not presentable, <clears throat> of someone who hated herself, that's me. I hated myself. I stuttered like an idiot. I always felt like the bottom of the barrel. I wondered who pulled this joke on me? Why was I born? Why did time and space get wasted on me? I thought of myself as a nobody. Now, before I go any further, why Jesus above any others? Well, let's put it like this. You can rebuke demons all day long by every other name under the earth, but only under the name of Jesus will they flee because that's the only authority they have to bow to. You can stop dogs from attacking you. Uh, you can cuss all day long. You can swing. You can bat. You can kick. You can run. But the only thing that will stop them dead in their tracks from personal experience is saying, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Now, let's get back to me and my little emotionally crippled self. I was extremely insecure. I hated the way I looked. I thought I was the ugliest creature on the planet when I was a kid. I scratched and digged for love in all the wrong places. Yeah. And I want to tell you this. When you live a life of emptiness, and trust me, I was empty. The biggest question is why? What is all this about, Alfie? It doesn't make sense. I could be in the bed screwing a guy whose name I couldn't even remember. And I would feel all the turmoil inside. I could be shaking my booty on the dance floor, having a good time, fighting to have a good time, scratching to have a good time, digging to have a good time, and begging to fit in. And that turmoil would never, ever go away. The emptiness haunted me everywhere I went. I did not feel fulfilled. I did not feel gratified. I was not satisfied. I had no sense of purpose. Let me tell you this. I never felt alive. 
I felt like a big question mark and a big apology. I looked, I looked at myself in the mirror and I think, yeah, no wonder everybody laughs at you. I hated myself. I didn't have any self-confidence. Self-esteem was totally non-existent. I, would, I was a people pleaser. I, I would lend people money knowing they weren't going to pay me back just so they would think I was nice. Even money I couldn't afford to. I couldn't afford to lend. I couldn't afford to do a lot of things. I did it because I wanted to be liked. One night stands, what was that about? I wanted to be loved. I wanted somebody to treat me like I was worthy of something, worthy of their time. Yeah, it would have been bad, thank you, ma'am. And after I got tired of feeling like a trash can in a toilet bowl, I finally backed up off of that too. I was sitting in nightclubs, listening to the same rhetoric. When I started hitting the nightclub, listen, I was about <clears throat> 18 years old. I looked older, so I got by without having to show an ID. But check it out. By the time I was 26, I was hearing the same rhetoric, the same BS, the same nonsense, seeing all the same mess and the same games, phoniness, the acts, the masquerade people wore. Ever since I was 18 and 19, nothing changed. And I looked around and said, you know what? I'm in a rut. I'm in a rut with them and they're in a rut. And I'm getting nowhere fast. I'm tired of chasing my tail. So I finally decided there's got to be more to life than this crap. And that's what made me turn to Jesus. Check it out. That's where I discovered supernatural true love that doesn't even exist on this earth when God manifested himself in my living room. Hmm. He delivered me from a root of rejection in my living room. I dry heaved for two hours after asking God a question. He answered me with the word rejection and I asked him to get it out at the root and I dry heaved for two hours. Got delivered from rejection. Don't have issues with it like I did all my life. It crippled me, y'all. Listen, when God touches you, when God blesses you, when you wake up feeling alive for the first time in your life like I did, you don't want to cut that loose. You don't want to play with it and take a chance of losing it because there's nothing on this earth that's better. I'm here to tell you that. Anyway, I'm going to keep this short. God bless you. Those of you who are wondering if God is worth it, please give him a try. If you can have a one night stand, if you can try cocaine, if you can try your first glass of liquor, why can't you try God? That's what I did when I got saved. I said, well, I'll give you a try. What else could I lose? And I never stopped. And God never stopped proving himself to me. God bless you. Give yourself to the Lord. Watch your life do a total turnaround, 180 degree turn. Watch yourself find out that even your innermost being, your nature, all the things you wanted to do, some of those things will take time to change. Some things will change overnight. Why? Because God fills you with his Holy Ghost. Don't forget to ask for that one. To fill you with his Holy Ghost, forgive you for sin, fill you with his Holy Ghost, give you power, and that Holy Ghost, his Holy Spirit, listen, will give you a new nature. And all the things that you thought you couldn't do without, you find a, a supernatural ability to resist it. And then when you look back 10 years down the road, you say, man, I didn't give up nothing compared to what I got in return. God bless you. Make that choice, y'all. Souls in danger, look above. Jesus completely saves. He will lift you by his love.
out of the angry waves. He's the master of the sea, billows his will obey. He, your Savior, wants to be, be saved today. Love lifted be, love lifted be. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. For those of you who find it difficult to consider walking with the Lord because you don't want to have to deal with organized religion or traditional churches. You can join our little small group online. We have some genuine folks. We talk about everything, trust me. And they're not trying to make you line up with this religion or that religion. These are born again, spirit-filled believers who are struggling just like you are, but they're getting help over their obstacles and they'll share it with you if you want to hear it. Our group meets every Saturday and Tuesday. The details are below under all my videos. God bless you.